What's up guys, it's T here from T Me Daily. And today we're gonna to be taking this skinny 20 ounce tumbler and turning it into a magical mermaid cup. Well, mermaid converse themed cup. I am so excited to do this, you guys. I'm so happy with how it came out. So I hope that you guys love this video. All right, so I spray painted the cup with three different shades in the blue family. And then we're going to mod podge it up and then glitterify it. And I wanted the glitters to be pretty similar to the actual colors of the cup. So down here towards the royal blue, we're going to do like that royal bluish glitter. And in the middle, tealish, royalish blue mixture. And those two glitters that you first saw in the little kind, tiny cups, excuse me, those are glitters that I um, kind of combined myself. Those are mixtures I made, so... I don't have names for you on that one. But the mint colored glitter or mint like blue colored glitter is called Ice Queen from Spin It. You guys have seen me use it a couple of times. It's one of my faves. And when I'm applying the glitter, I'm applying it onto the Mod Podge all the way up to where I kind of did those brush strokes with the Mod Podge to help it ombre a little bit better and overlapping the colors. It's just gonna help it to blend in better with each other. <gasps> that blue glitter is so dang beautiful. So beautiful. nice and sanded go ahead and turn that cup turner on you can see back here I have different color mica powders so what we're gonna do is put a base layer down and we want this layer to be pretty darn thick so that the mica powders whoosh really well like waves on the ocean <laughs> So we put the mica powders in the cups with some of the resin and we're going in horizontally today. I know. This is gonna create a different movement method than the diagonal that we normally go in with. And I pretty much took the same shades as the cup, picked the same shades as in mica powder and then did it that way. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Now we're going to go in this way. I'm going to take the darker shades and try to stick to the darker to the bottom. Putting some up here as well, but I still want that ombre effect, you know? Okay, now we're going in with this teal shade, this aqua shade. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. All right, now we got this beautiful aqua blue green. And we don't want much of this because it is a little bit on the greener side. But mixed in with the blue, it's just going to add more texture. It's going to blend in nicely and not be so green. So we just want a little bit, just a little bit. Just wait until these colors start blending together. We're going to get that heat gun going in just a second. Okay, that's it. We don't want too much green. I'm going to take our heat gun. I'm going to set the heat just below max, so not all the way. And then we're gonna start heating that up a little bit so it moves more. See how that's already giving it way more movement? It's gonna blend the colors together more. And then I'm gonna take my spatula 
because I want it blended even more and I'm just going to start moving things like this very light handedly to make sure it doesn't stay in such a straight line. Now we're going to leave it alone and let it do its thing. Oh, it's already looking so pretty. I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like. One, I am so happy with it. This is more what I wanted. So what I ended up doing was adding just a couple of drops of Picasso, I like it, the alcohol ink in navy blue. More towards the bottom and then like two drops up here. And then I added Picasso, I like it, alcohol ink in turquoise. From here up to here. And then with my silicone sploogy, I just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I am so happy with it. This is exactly what I was looking for. You can still see the glitter through it. Yet you have these beautiful like blue waves. I wanted more waves, not marble. That's why we didn't do like a hydro dip method and we did this kind of method. All right, so now we're going to let this one dry for a full 24 hours. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. You guys, we are back. It has been 24 hours and oh my gosh, look at this beautiful. Okay, look at the butt first off. I love the butt. <laughs> it's so cute and swirly. I love how it did that. And then this, it just, oh, adding those alcohol inks really just gave it the mwah, chef's keys. We have already cut out all of the vinyl we will need. We have white vinyl, black vinyl, this cool teal turquoise color, and this cool glitter um, teal mint color. And I cut it out in multiple different colors because I'm not sure what I wanted to use yet. All right, I sanded. Much better. Now we are smooth, baby, smooth. A little bit less pretty, but smooth. <laughs> All right, for my, my outline, I decided I wanted to go in with the teal. I made one in white and black, but I don't know, I just I like this pop of blue. So we went in with our little squeegee, made sure it's nice and good on our transfer paper, our transfer tape, excuse me. There we go. Oh, that beautiful, <laughs> that beautiful, that blue is just so dang beautiful. I wanted to put it on this side because I didn't want to cover up any of these coal swirls. And there. Uh-oh, stuck to my hand. No, don't stick to my hand. Okay, now we're going to take our squeegee <laughs> oh pretty yeah I like it I like it Picasso oh that's pretty all right now we're going to take black because I think I still I still decided I wanted it to be a black bar here because we're actually gonna go in with these beautiful teal mint converse letters. I think it's gonna offset it really well. So we're gonna start off on one edge. Line it up real nice. Kinda hard to see a little bit. Okay, and then I just follow it around. There you go. And now go do 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 and do 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 la di di do 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 okay okay ooh pretty. So we put the 
Converse All Star on the bottom. Look at how beautiful. We have the Converse All Star here. I'm really feeling the water vibes with this cup, so I want to add some to it. So I got these really cute mermaid stickers. And I'm thinking, first off, we want to add this little like seahorse. He is precious. He has precious. -ous. So I think we're going to put him like right in the center, right there. Remember, we don't want to add anything on here because this is where the laces are going to be. Okay, you guys, check it out. I put a little mermaid. I put the seahorse over here. I moved him. Alrighty, guys, so I also made some mermaid scales with my Cricut, and I love the colors, you guys. I made this mint teal for the top and a glitter royal blue for the bottom. And I love that the royal blue at the bottom kind of just blends in with the waves and blends in with the cup and the top really pops so that you can still see all the scales. And then I also found these mermaids just hanging out in my stuff already. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect because we want this to be a mermaid themed cup and they're holographic. I feel like they're just going to add a little bit more glitz and glam to the cup along with the mermaid that I made with my vinyl in that mint tealish color that you see there at the center. So I just added two little mermaids on the side. I think they're so cute, so precious. <laughs> then I put down a layer of epoxy. It was the Quick Coat Epoxy. I did 10 mLs of part A, 10 mLs of part B for a total of 20 mLs. And it only requires a dry time of five to eight hours, but I let it sit overnight. So I think it was a total of about 16 to 17 hours before I got back to the cup. So it is ready for our laces. Okay, it's time to do the back. I have my black dots already on. I have them measured one inch apart and then three inches from left to right. And then we're now going to use some E6000 to glue them on. Make sure to remember that the pointed end of each arrow is going inwards, like so. And I like to glue them as far as possible, but still covering that black dot. And those black dots, you don't need them. That just helps me to make sure they're completely even. Cause I'm terrible at math and measurements y'all. to work on da -da 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 lid. I am so beyond excited to do this because because you guys not only is this gonna be mermaid theme but it is also gonna have some bling 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 get it mermaid thing <laughs> bling bling ah, and the crowd goes well for t-bone cuz no one else thinks your jokes are funny oh. <laughs> alright guys so this is a skinny tumbler. This is 20 ounce skinny. So we don't have very much space to work with. And so this is the opening and closing right here. So we don't want to have anything here, any glue that might inhibit that from opening and closing. So we're going to be focusing on this area right here. This is going to be our main focal piece. Look at this beautiful freaking um, mermaid tail. I got this from Hobby Lobby and it already has a flat edge so we can glue it on there. We're gonna glue it to the biggest space right here, the biggest wall, so we can glue it up against there. And some seashells, seashells, seashells by the seashore, and these cute blue rocks. Going in with our Let's Resin, clear UV resin, we're gonna pop some right about right here. And then up against the wall as well. Take the tail, push it flat, and up against the wall as well. I'm going to hold it in place and using my UV lamp, 
I'm gonna get it to solidify. We're gonna hold it there for about 90 seconds. All right, so to make some of these even more unique and beautiful, I wanna go ahead and, oh, sorry, that's not focused. I wanna go ahead and paint some of these she shells. I'm gonna grab some UV resin because I really want these to dry fast so I can just apply them on there. but you know, I really like to make sure it's covered. <laughs> All right guys, we have our beautiful glitter shells. And now we're ready. Now we're ready to add some more decorations. Let's go ahead and get our UV gel out. And I want to put a shell right here. And we're going to do a go, couple of stones. obsessed with it. I think it's so beautiful. It's so shiny. And it goes perfect with our cup. Look at this. Look at this. I chose this beautiful metallic blue for the laces. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous. It just pops. I didn't want to do white or black. I really wanted to do something metallic to really help the mermaid theme all come together. I might have to make myself another one of these for me because this is so freaking adorable. So wanting a blue cup converse mermaid theme, this is what I came up with you guys and I am so proud of it. I love it so much. I think the topper is so beautiful and creative. The waves are beautiful. I love the mermaids. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful. I love the laces. I got these off of Amazon. That'll be linked down below. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Do something that makes you guys smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day. <laughs> Bye, guys.